Malta citizenship is the most exclusive, the most coveted citizenship by investment solution in the entire world. It is limited to only 400 applicants and their families per year, and it has been one of the most sought after solutions by Indian families who are affluent and high net worth over 2023. Good morning, I am Oliver Said, CEO of Endevio, and today is the 3rd December 2023. I am presently in Dubai, transiting over to India, very excited to come over and go into the details of what Malta, the fastest growing economy in Europe, has to offer in terms of permanent residency solutions, or as I'm going to be discussing briefly today, the Maltese citizenship. I thank Avenev and uh, all the team for hosting us in this incredible journey to provide what is the information with regards to these two programs. We are really here to give you all the relevant information directly from the source to avoid any misunderstandings or any sometimes overselling by any respective entity. And we are truly honored to be here as your guests. First and foremost, I want to address two matters which I know from experience are of particular importance to high net worth Indian families as we've dealt with them numerous times over 2023. So first and foremost, multi-citizenship is for the entire family and extends to the applicant, the spouse, dependent, unmarried children, and it can include also parents. So basically it is a family solution. The second part, which is critically very important, is that once Maltese citizenship is attained, it is inherited by right in all future generations. So future children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, irrespective of the fact as to whether they would have been born in Malta or not, are eligible for Maltese citizenship. Now let's come to the taxation. A person who becomes a Maltese citizen is not automatically taxable in Malta, does not automatically become tax resident in Malta. And this is something which I know is of particular importance to high net worth Indian families. So a person is not deemed domiciled, is not deemed tax resident. I do not want to go too much into the detail here, but it's sufficient to say that basically you have the best of both worlds and this can give rise to certain interesting solutions. The benefits are many and numerous. There is the obvious benefit of having one of the absolutely strongest passports in the entire world, allows boundless travel to 187 countries presently and increasing every year and counting. So that means that there are very few, at least really very few countries where you actually need to apply for a visa. And this is obviously of tremendous importance to people who want to travel, who want to expand horizons for themselves and their families. And these countries obviously include the most coveted countries where a person might want to travel. That obviously includes the entire European Union. It includes the US, it includes Canada, it includes Singapore, Australia, and so many countries, which is impossible for me to mention them. My memory of memory, in uh, listing. Let us start with the benefits, which are too numerous to mention, but I'll just focus on to what is travel rights and what is residency rights. So with a Maltese passport, as of today, you can travel to 187 countries, and that is an incredible number. It allows boundless travel. It includes Europe, it includes US, Canada, Australia, Singapore. In fact, it's probably easier to mention the countries where you don't need an electronic travel authority or a visa. And this obviously opens up a tremendous amount of opportunity where you can just literally decide that you want to travel, go to the airport, pick up and go. Let's look at something completely different. A person who is a multi-citizen is obviously now part of a very exclusive club. Malta is a member of the European Union and a Maltese citizen has the right to reside in approximately 30 countries, which includes all the 27 European Union countries, 
and also a few more, including Switzerland. Now, this obviously offers a tremendous amount of potential in that it allows future generations and current generations to really expand their horizon, be able to travel, be able to work, and be able to have those internships like any other person within the continent and to set up their own business and trade. So these are just two of the benefits. I'm not going into all the other benefits because obviously here it's just simply an introduction.